Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. Quick price analysis video on Polkadot today. We'll look at a few key levels. The ones that we've just lost, which was quite a key area around here, we've just started to drop below it. Um, so we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at some buy zones, and then we'll take a look at some levels above if the price does flip around, and we'll look at some levels that we could use as accumulation points. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button, and let's crack on. So welcome to the channel. We'll just start off by taking a look at Bitcoin because ultimately whatever Bitcoin is doing currently, the entire market is following it. We have had that drop since the pretty much the all-time highs up at 69k on the nose and then we've dropped off altogether uh, from the top to the bottom. We've done a, I mean currently we sat at 32% down. We actually dropped 39-40% down from the entire top to the entire bottom of that move. So quite a drastic drop, but on the way up you will always get pullbacks. I think now that we are kind of consolidating within this range now. I've been watching it on the lower time frames down at a 30 minute and every time we we try to get a push to the upside it's getting rejected straight away. Uh, and same as look at this level here, this day, weekly level of resistance, anything close to that it's just getting sold straight off. So slightly bearish still, we are forming a little bit of a bottom here I think and let's see if the price does push up um, then it's going to ultimately bring the rest of the markets up with it. So we just need to keep his eyes on Bitcoin because like I say ultimately it is leading the charge. So starting off with Polkadot, we'll have a look at the um, the USDT pairing first, and then we'll jump over to the BTC pair, see if we can get some um, orders in Satoshi's filled up. So looking at the price currently, it's up at around $55. I did one of them bullshit random price prediction um, threads of a while back, probably six, seven months ago. I did say that Polkadot would hit $50 this year. Um, we got to this stage and I thought, all right, $50 is going to be easy and um, we're going to fly up to 100 But we've hit that top of 55 uh, and we have rejected, but nothing really, um, nothing, no issues going on with Polkadot. In fact, Polkadot is more bullish than it used to be. We're talking back then, it was a lot more bullish and we had the, the start of parachain auctions, which pretty much happened around then. And like I say, Bitcoin has um, just done a significant pullback and it's pulled the rest of altcoins with it. So... For me, fundamentally, it has nothing changed. In fact, we are stronger. So this reinforces my uh, my bullishness on the asset. I think it's a great time to buy. This is nothing to worry about. If you did buy up here, then it is what it is. You're going to be underwater, but hold on, because personally, I think it's going to be uh, one of the best assets going forward in the next the next two to three years. I think it's just going to go on leaps and bounds. With, po with the, the parachain auctions in full swing, I think we've had four locks up now maybe, um, those Polkadot which are getting locked up are going to add to that ecosystem and that scarcity. So looking good. I can't explain how bullish I am in asset. So just looking at some buy levels, I've got a couple of levels marked up here. So we had this support level, which last time I did a video, I said would be a great video. Um, uh, sorry, a great, uh, a great entry at $26. And they have hit, we have probably... Eight and nine candles within that range. We are starting to lose that range a little bit now, but I think if you're looking for buys, we could potentially we just put a horizontal around here. Look at this level here. So two bottoms there, push to the upside. I think it's coming down to retest that. So 2437. And then we've got this candle here at 2260. Those are two levels I think would be great areas to accumulate. This is still a great area, but lower the better, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, there are areas I would consider buying it. I can't see it going much lower. We have got a massive support band down here at 14 bucks, which we've been in the past. I just don't think it's going to get there, to be honest. I think I'm just waiting for a breakout on Bitcoin, and like, with that, it will pull the rest of the market up. Looking at RSI down here on the daily time frame, it's not oversold, but I mean, it's there or thereabouts, isn't it? We're currently down at 29.30. If it did touch down into that... Um, overbought territory then it would be even um sorry oversold territory it would be a great buy but looking at some confluent areas this area here last time it was a great buy looking at this area here last time it was a great buy it pushed up obviously we did sell off them but use for rsi to your advantage rsi um falling price it is it's a given for me i think that's um, just a great buy so that's some areas like i say i would consider um investing and then buying in and holding on. If you're looking for accumulation levels, you've got three levels above. 
I've got this region here at 37, 38, 46, 41, and then we've got all-time high at 54, 95. What I will be doing personally is selling parts of my polka dot on that way up. I've got a separate bag for staking, so I'm staking around 50% of my bag. I've got around 30% of those locked up in um, in crowd loans, and the other 20% is just for accumulating. And I won't be using the entire 20%, but um, maybe five to five to 10% I will be using to accumulate. And I will be selling parts of my bags at 37, 46, and 55 only in order to buy back in when it rejects off those levels. So I'm looking to accumulate Polkadot now. I think the price has come down to some great levels. So accumulation is king, um, and in, especially in solid assets like this. Um, I think it's um, definitely a given. One thing to know as well, that uh, Polkadot has now gone through a rebrand, which was an on-chain decentralized rebrand, which is the first of its kind. Um, and I actually love the new branding. So all in all, that's that pair covered pretty much. What I'll do is just jump into the Satoshi pair and see what's going on here. So we had a bullish pendant. We broke out of that bullish pendant, come back down, retested it, and now we're dropping off. I've said throughout most of my altcoin analysis videos recently um but i'm still expecting bitcoin to charge when it does the satoshi pairs will start to get wrecked i would have said in previous video look to target buys from 5700 down to 500 um sorry 5000 sats those areas are looking very likely well that's been filled this one's going to be filled i think there's a good opportunity down here 3500 sats i think that could be um, a really tasty level for you to potentially pick up some uh some polka dot using bitcoin either side it's still got a bit of room to grow remember i keep saying if it touches this then it's um, a great buy but if it keeps going lower remember this goes all the way down to zero either side is not going to go to zero but you you get to grips what i mean there it, it could drop anyway down there uh, and then it would even be a stronger buy just looking at this in terms of a fib level from the bottom to the top we're coming down now so you could use this 786 fib level as your first point so Maybe ladder them down 5,000 sats all the way down to 3,000 sats. Potentially, I don't know, maybe one order there, two orders there, three, four, five. Have five orders within around the area, and hopefully you can pick a few up. Uh, once Bitcoin does start to rally, price of Polkadot will drop, um, and then that's a good time for you to, to, to load up. Just going back to the dollar pair, I just want to cover the... Um, have a look what the moving averages are doing. I use the... The 50 and the 20, and we've had that bearish cross now, haven't we? What we're looking for is a clean sweep. Pick up liquidity here, push back up. These moving averages then flip. We'll get that bullish cross, which will probably be too late. Usually, um, if you're looking for moving average crosses, the, the price action's already started. So if, say, for example, we get a cross here, the price action on the uptrend may have already started here. So it's usually a couple of weeks out of date, but um, it does give you a good um, feeling of long-term uh, long term direction because here would have been a great time to short and then look at that we've had from the 2nd November to the 15th December six weeks of pretty much bare candles so that could have been a great time to sell as well uh, but that's it just some quick fire analysis there on Polkadot probably one of my favourite um, out of the entire top 10 crypto assets whenever I can I will be accumulating this asset that's going to do it if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed I'll catch you next time